I was picked up from the airport and brought to this medical center and they just handed me a cup. But it looked like this. I hope they wanted me to pee in it. Cause that's what I did. Good morning. Good morning. I got Wi-Fi in my car if you need it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. some people for some lab work that I didn't even need done like but it's all my fault but I'm going back and stuff with them yesterday because I almost got kidnapped it's nobody fault but mine but I am in Santo Domingo Dominican Republic and I'm getting a lipo 360 tummy tuck and PDL y'all I haven't even got on here and told y'all what was going on can you see Okay, it's March the 14th, 11.19 a.m. Um, in the clip of footage, you'll see me on my way to the clinic, Simpla. Um, I'm a little in denial, like, I'm really here in the Dominican Republic. Um, yeah, so anyway, I got here yesterday. My flight landed at 1 o'clock. I received a text message on WhatsApp. Let me show you the message. See, I received a text the day before I got on my flight that he was going to be my driver. So when I got off the flight, he sent me a picture of himself and my name, whatever. So when I finally got off, you know, I'm going towards the doors. You see a bunch of people with all these special pieces of people. Whatever. When I got off the flight, I, I look at the picture. I see him standing there. He grabbed my bag. And I'm like, oh, snap. I'm being treated like a princess. You know, I'm feeling like I got a little bit of money. I'm like, I didn't have to ask him to grab my bag. He got it. Like, he got my little name written on his little piece of paper. I'm like, okay. You know, I'm 
I'm a little at ease because you know I'm, I'm I'm feeling like everything is in control. And we're driving for at least a good five minutes, and I receive a phone call like, "Hey, um, are you still coming in today?" I said, "Who is this?" He said, "Conrad." I'm like, "Okay, how'd you get my number?" He like, "Are you staying at Kindness Recovery House?" I'm like, "Yes." He's like, "Okay, where are you? My driver is at the airport." I said, "I'm in a car." <laughs> yeah, I'm like, "I'm in a car." He like, with who? I'm like, I don't know. I said, Ramon. He said, who? Put him on the phone. So he, I let him hold the phone and get to speaking in Spanish. And then when he handed me my phone back, Conrad is off the phone. So I call him back and I'm like, yeah, am I being kidnapped? And the whole time I'm really calm, you know, because Ramon acts as if he doesn't understand English. I know he might understand some. So when Conrad first called me and he's like, yeah, my driver's at the airport waiting for you. I'm trying to stay in a calm state. So if I am being kidnapped, he don't know that I know that I'm being kidnapped. But when I called Conrad back, I'm like, am I being kidnapped? He's like, no, and started laughing. He said, uh, that driver works with a different doctor. I'm like, okay. You know, I didn't think to ask any more questions. I'm just thinking the driver's gonna take me to the recovery house. So I hang up the phone with him. And the driver actually takes me to a, a clinic, you know, and everything down here kind of looks like the movies. The clinic look like a chicken shack, like it's real small and it's not the neatest or whatever. So as soon as I go in there, they hand me a cup that looks like marinara sauce. I'm going to insert the clip. But it looked like this. I hope they wanted me to pee in it because that's what I did. Yeah, so I peed in a cup, and then when the lady printed out the sticker to put it on my cup, I'm like, it says Dr. Man, and I'm like, that's not my doctor. And she said, huh? And then she kind of brushed it off. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So then when the lady drew my blood on the stickers, it still says Dr. Man, and I'm like, this is not my doctor, you know? And she gets to speaking to the other lady, and she did like a little laugh or something. I don't know, you know. So then I tell my driver, and I'm like, this is not my doctor, you know. I'm like, you know, but I never even put it in my translator. Well, I did, and he looked at it, and he didn't even have nothing to say, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I tried to talk to him. Once I realized he wasn't feeding into my English, like he wasn't he wasn't even trying to understand me, I called Colin Rampant. I'm like, hey, Conrad, um, Ramon just took me to this clinic. I said, and all my labels say Dr. Manning. He like, yeah, um, he's a different driver. He deals with a different doctor. He probably thinks that Dr. Manning is a doctor. Da, 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 da. I'm like, well, can you talk to him, you know? So he's like, yeah, he talks to him or whatever. And the guy brings me back to Cottonwood, you know? So then I, um, when I get here, I spoke with Conrad again because I'm like, if they're doing these labs, thinking they're for Manning, you know, I hope my information don't get sent to Manning. It didn't even dawn on me that they was going to charge me for it. Long story short, you know, it's all my fault I got kidnapped. I don't even know how this man got my number, honestly. Um, I don't. I don't. Like, I assumed that it was with my a driver from my recovery house because they texted me and told me that a driver was going to be texting me. I try not to stress about it. When I got here, I explained, I expressed to Conrad what happened, and he told me not to worry about it. He said, um, if they did your lab works over there, you're gonna have to pay them. He said, and we'll just get those labs sent to the doctor. He said, and we'll take you to the doctor for everything else tomorrow. So I'm like, okay. So this morning I got up and that's what I did. And then, you know, this morning you'll see me, 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, I'm at CIPLA and then Rosa texts me. She's like, good morning. Good morning. It's Rosa, Dr. Manion assistant. Uh, Ramon tell me you're changing a doctor. Here, there are your labs. So come, get your labs and, and labs. And you have to pay for Because we do that already. 
I'm like, ah, I knew that was coming, you know. As soon as I receive it, I'm already in, you know, Cipla. I'm about to get some more, you know, x-rays. And, you know, I'm about to see the lung specialist and a cardiologist and things like that. So I'm like, uh, I low-key could should ignore her and just get everything else done here. Then I'm like, I don't know who knows who. And I don't want them to charge me twice. You know, I don't want to pay for this for her labs and have to pay for the labs with my doctor. Whatever. I respond back and I told her. I said, how did you receive my information? I never put a deposit down for Dr. Manning. How did I change a doctor that I never looked into? I never even thought of this man being my doctor. So then she said, didn't send me your phone number because you was getting a quote with her. Probably you get confused and that happened. So I have your results here and I can give you back what you have to pay for because you you get a lot. That didn't send me your phone number because you who sent her my phone number? I don't think that's what happened. So I'm looking at this picture and it dawned on me that my cousin was supposed to be getting surgery with me. So I'm thinking I might have texted her looking for a recovery house. Because if my cousin would have came down here, we would have went to the same recovery house. All my messages on WhatsApp like disappeared because I got a new phone. So I don't know what our conversation was I, I don't know if i spoke with rose i'm not sure because i spoke with a lot of people you know trying to book a recovery house down him so i think that might have happened because even still now that my cousin is not getting a surgery rose is still thinks she's it she is and still texting her asking her a bunch of information and yeah but um that was my fault you know so um that happened so that's why I didn't record much yesterday because I had to pay attention, you know. I had to really keep focus. And I try to, you know, keep myself calm and grasp everything that was going on. Because I'm still in denial of the fact that I'm here. And I'm here by myself. And I don't speak Spanish. Not even a little bit. And I just want to say that... Uh, yeah, ain't nobody fault that I got in the car but mine, but I do think so that I did not get kidnapped. I'm a little hurt that I had to pay for those labs when, you know, the lab work with my doctor was included in the price. So I did kick out a little extra money, but that was not on my doctor's end. So I can't say that. My doctor told me about all the additional fees that, you know, came with my surgery. Like, exactly what he said it was going to be is what the price was. So, oh, I never told y'all what doctor I'm going with. Um... My doctor is Marcus Soto. He works at Sipla. I am getting a Tummy Tuck Lipo 360 BBL. This is my second day here. When I arrived yesterday, I just kind of wanted to get settled in and wrap my mind around things, you know. Um, I didn't know how to feel. I didn't know how to feel. But now I'm excited because this morning I'm going to insert a clip of me on my way to the clinic and you'll get a little snippet of that. But I wasn't allowed to record so this morning when I went to the clinic around 6, 7.30 um, they just did um, some heart x-rays, uh, lung tests, uh, they looked over my labs I seen the doctor and he's really sweet um, yeah he's nice like you know you ever been like around like some doctors doctors can give off like a snooty kind of like attitude like uptight and he's not that like he saw me he was like are you nervous you seem nervous I said I'm just cold he's okay let me turn the air off for you you know and he just made me feel comfortable and maybe I'm being a little vulnerable, you know, but I'm not hard to please at all, you know. If you just respect me and, like, instantly, you my homeboy. That's my homeboy. That's my man. So, yeah, he grabbed my butt, y'all, and he was like, you want big butt? I said, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, y'all, I want big butt. I want hips. I want them to match my thighs, but make me curvy. And I'm excited. Um. I'm outside on top of this thing. 
would show y'all the recovery house, but I'm not sure how appropriate that is. Um, I could get into the price breakdown of everything, but I kind of don't feel like it. But the videos where they just talk about, you know, like how much they paid and the pricing of everything kind of get boring to me because it's different for everybody else. So it's like my doctor was only cheap because I booked like maybe a year ago. Granted, his prices might have went up, but not only that, you get di different quotes based on your body type and things like that. So what I'm paying, you might not pay the same thing. But what they tell you to bring, bring that plus a thousand dollars more. So like I said, I'm dealing with Susanna and the surgery coordinator and Marcus at Simpla and, and this recovery house has been a stress-free process. Like I'm glad I came here instead of booking my own hotel room and trying to get a private nurse and then having to book a driver and then having to book, um, you know, just extra stress that I didn't need. All I had to do was book my surgery, pay my deposit, and book my recovery house. And had I gotten the right car, they would have brought me straight here and to Sipla the next day. But I didn't get in the right car. Trying to learn at least a little bit of Spanish, because if you don't speak Spanish, then ain't nobody going to pay you no money. They just not. And if you try to talk to them, they just going to blow you off. Like, they just going to blow you off. And I'm not taking it personal, but it can get frustrating if things not going your way. But things are working for my, in my favor right now. Now they didn't me having to pay an additional $300 for lab results because I got kidnapped and got took to the wrong medical center. Everything else is going fine. If that never would have happened, I'm so mad at myself about that. Like, you know what I could do with $300? Like, I could have got me some more, some new panties and bra sets and stuff like that. I want my money back. But... I'm going to ask my doctor if they could give me like $150 back since I didn't have to get all my lab work done there, you know? Like, give me something. Jeez. At first, I'm like, is she bringing me shrimp and grits? I done lost the damn switch. The remote control. Um... I didn't even mean to go to sleep. Oh, that's bright. Then they little teeny strip too. I'm thank you God. I'm so grateful, but uh, mm -hmm. I'm a grown woman. I am a big girl. This is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. They gonna have to charge me extra because I'm about to start doubling my portions. I need to stop though. That's why I'm here, right? Cause I'm too fat. This is good. You like it? No, nope. even if I didn't like it, I would admit. This is really good. Mmm. And I'm a picky girl. The shrimp not chewy. What kind of seasoning is they using over here? The only thing is these mashed potatoes need some salt. That's it, that's all. But other than that, it still tastes good. I couldn't eat no fries, no potato without no salt. Mm. Thank you, God. I need more of this. I is they gonna give me more? You can ask. I don't think she would mind because y'all don't have surgery. So you telling me after I get surgery, she gonna be like, no. When you have surgery, you ain't gonna ask. Trust me. You'll be like, shit. I know this is the side, the portion the side. I shouldn't do that. I wish she'd have gave me as much shrimp as she did mashed potatoes. Oh my God, that shrimp is good. That is good. I was afraid I wasn't gonna like anything down here because I'm really, really picky. I ate the chicken and the rice. The chickens, they just know what they do. They cook everything just just good enough where it's not too crunchy. It's like, I don't even want to eat it. It's such a little, like, I don't want to eat it. No, no. I said, I don't want it to be gone. 
trying to wait for my soul for my food. Let me eat it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. This is good. Oh, my God. Mmm. I'm so proud of them. Yeah, I'm so proud of them. My sandwich up for me. What's I keep trying to push this door open. been like a few hours but look at my stomach look at my stomach I had to wait for the anesthesia to wear off to get in here but it's flat I can see my my vagina And I just feel like I'm on my period, which I am. I'm gonna get my eyebrows done down here too. I can't wait. I'm so anxious to see my butt. The doctor gonna show me tomorrow. Get tomorrow, honey. I look good. I definitely look like I was pregnant when I came down here. Mm -hmm. But better than I came in, but I don't see that button. Mm -hmm. Let me see my baby. Mm -hmm. I will be back. Get to eat. Hey, you come up at 6.30, 7.30, What I got to wait for? Hey, when you come back, I'm going to do it for bottles. Oh. Uh, because if you take it too early, you can vomit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll be patient. Yeah. I like to eat. Mm -hmm. That's my problem. I'm for real. My butt too big for this diaper, ain't it? All right, now that's all I want to hear. <laughs> yeah, we can't get this on. I told my mother I was going to wear extra, extra large. Eat as much as I used to. You can eat all if you if I want. Yeah. Okay. I'm not feeding things to 
I really appreciate you. Okay. I would take that bowl and drink that sweet from that bowl if I could. Whew. That's why I need a tummy tuck because I'm a fat girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like to eat. Before you was fat girl, now you were sexy girl. Thank you. I just got back to the recovery house. I just ate some chicken and rice. I didn't even show the camera my food. The food is tolerable. It was good. But... This is my first time seeing my body. I'm lying. I just went upstairs and saw my body in. I don't like it. Like, the pictures look good. My stomach's super flat, but my hips not wide. So, I had to do a round two. I know I am. I'm gonna do it again. Cause the lipo itself not that bad. This tummy tuck up. Well, look how I got a hunch over. I'm looking dang on my. Look here I got. Yeah, you see me, Gordy? Thank you. Huh? you see me? What I look like? Like you in pain? My butt look big. Are you guys stuck right the right stomach too? No, not right. So your butt, like, see, I was like, so I seen it, like, 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 healed and rubbed, because it looked like your stomach, like, like, it looked like too much change. Your butt looked bigger. Your butt definitely looked bigger. But I'm talking about this. This part's still flat. Yeah, it, it looked the same. Yeah. That's still flat. But he the gap, like, you ain't never had, like, that pussy open right, that little gap right there, so you gotta wait to see, because it might... It might be different. You know what I'm talking about? Like that little gap between your legs? Yeah. Yeah, you ain't never had that before, so it might be different. Yeah, I noticed that too. I was like, why do I look so little? But I'm grateful for my flat stomach, so I can love on that for a minute. But I'm definitely going to get lipo again, just from around the hips. But I like to see how I'm gonna gain weight for that because, you know, where would they take the fat from? Because I don't feel like I'm fat, you know. So I'm just trying to figure out what did you do with all my fat? I don't know. I don't think my butt looked that big. Let me look at the video.